now in the uh, Bulgarian Rose Valley. It's, it is also called the Kazan Rose Valley. The region we're situated just under uh, Stara Planina, called Old Mountain. The mountain keeps Opa. the rose field. It's very dangerous for roses. Um, the cold weather through winter is very dangerous, but the mountain keeps the roses. Um, and it is uh, considered um, the best place for growing uh, the rose, the Bulgarian rose, the Damascena. In your bond is is um, is our company. We are based, our production facilities are based in the village of Ternichene, which is uh, located in the heart of the Bulgarian uh, Rose Valley. Uh, we produce uh, rose and lavender essential oils and floral waters. We have our own rose fields, which are certified organic, as well as our three distilleries. My great-grandfather, Inyo Bonchev, who started the business in, in the beginning of the century, he was from Kazanlak. And uh, we have been thinking, why why did he choose the village of uh, Ternichane to, to build uh, our old distillery? We think that he had chosen uh, Ternichane because of the, of the water. It is, uh, it is uh, very cold, which is the most important thing for the distillation process. This weather is a rosy weather. It's a rosy day. First perfect day for roses. The sun, we had roses. After two hours, we will be red, this field. Uh, roses are picked every morning uh, from uh, 5 o'clock in the morning uh, until uh, 11, 12. Uh, after that they're, they're weighed, weighed and uh, they're brought to the distillery, to our organic distillery. Why organic? Organic, um, we think that organic is the future. Um, by doing uh, organic agriculture, uh, you, show, you show your care, uh, not only for the land, but for the whole environment. Uh, in organic agriculture, you don't use any, any chemicals. And the philosophy, basically, of this um, agriculture and of those methods are to take care of the plant uh, and uh, keep it healthy so that you don't have to cure it. In contrast to the conventional agriculture, uh, which um, cares for the plant after it has developed some, some disease. What we're doing now, we're taking out the sample out of this. We take out the sample out of that sample and we give it for analysis so that we know what, what's happening. So fresh, but... Now we call it raw. Yes. Raw rosa. But... So... It's tender. It changes very for two weeks it changes and in another two weeks it will settle. Yeah. Um I ca I cannot say specifically that I have the nose the nose yeah. for this. We have specialists uh, right. who who smell uh, like Luigi. <laughs> like Luigi, <Uigi>, yes. <laughs> We're talking about uh, a connection of the people with the land. Bulgaria is, a, is an agricultural country. Agricultural and, and I think that we, what will be developed in the next years will be agriculture and tourism. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> the Roma Gypsies and the uh, Bulgarian Muslims are substantial part of our everyday life. They're everywhere around us. In our organic farming, we need a lot of manual labor. Um, there are a lot of manual operations which must be done by hand, and we count, we count on, on, on these people to help us. Without them, uh, we're lost. <laughs> I would not like to uh, sound like like a saint that uh, uh, we love them and everything like this because it's gonna say, sound very very much uh, perfumed and fake. What I want to say is and what we do is that we accept those people um, the way we accept uh, all the other Bulgarians. They're happy uh, because they um, pick up today uh, yet. Uh, flowers and um, this is good for they, they make making a kilos because we buy per kilo and uh, they they do a good profit. <laughs> yeah. We're going now to the gypsy neighborhood. Never before has any Apavi ever cared. And it's a great feeling for us that Abedi is supporting us in our dream and making it their dream too. Make this building a bathhouse for the Romi, a place for them to have hot and cold running water. And everybody has a dream in their heart. And we thank Aveda for being so kind. It's important. I think uh, you know, you're doing an amazing thing. It could be a model for Many companies are, are copying us. They see what we're doing in many ways and they're doing, doing uh, the same. So hopefully when we do this, we other people will follow. <laughs> other people will follow, hopefully.